Hello, I'm your host, Mega Fallon, and this is the Happy Smiley Show. Today we have a very special guest, Clarence Birdseye. Welcome to the show, Clarence. Well, Michael, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. How's your family doing? Well, I'm pleased to say my two daughters and my two sons are doing well. And how about your wife, Eleanor? My wife is also doing well. We're in the process of writing a book titled Growing Within the Plants. Could you tell me more about you and your wife's book? Yeah, I can. It's about the interrelationship between woodland organisms and when and how to prepare small and large plants. Wow, won't that be on the shelves? It'll be coming out on June 1st. Well, I bet it'll be the bestseller and I can't wait to pick it up and read it. So I heard when you were younger you dropped out of Amherst College. Could you tell us about that? Yes, that is true. I mean, I was studying to become a biologist, and my family just couldn't afford to keep me there anymore. So instead, I became a government field naturalist for the U.S. Biological Survey, and I was a fur trader on the side. Today is your birthday, if I'm not mistaken. Close, but it's actually December 9th. Well, happy early birthday, then. I heard when you were younger, you went to Labrador, Canada, and had some talks with the Inuit people there. Could you tell us about that? Actually, I did. They taught me how to ice fish, and that kind of helped me develop my method of flash freezing. And I noticed that the fish was quickly frozen, and it tasted almost fresh when it was reheated. And this kind of led me to the next step of my life. What was your next step at this point? Well, I decided to start my own company called Bird's Eye Seafood Incorporated. However, it didn't really go the way I wanted to, because two years later, in 1924, I went bankrupt. Why is it that you went bankrupt with such a great idea? Well, at the time, people just didn't trust frozen food, because previous history, it was pretty mushy. The limited c consumers I had couldn't keep my company afloat. That sounds like a bad time in your life. What was your next move? Well, I decided I wasn't going to let this failure keep me down, so I started up my new company called General Foods. What type of food did you guys sell? We sold frozen food, fruits, vegetables, and fish. I decided to advertise these products with many commercials so the company would be more successful this time around. General Foods had even better technology than before. I've kept inventing new ways to flash these foods ever since. I actually hear we have one of your commercials. Let's show it. Oh yeah, let's go. Birdseye discovered that quick freezing preserves freshness. In 1920, he invented the first process for quick freezing food. But Clarence was a fussy man. I can't settle for anything less than the best you can grow. Ladies, I will only freeze the best because my name is on the box. His name is still on the box. So if you're as fussy as Clarence Birdseye, serve the vegetables that bear the name of the father of frozen foods. This commercial was brought to you by Coca Cola. Refresh yourself, there's nothing like it when you're thirsty. That was an interesting commercial, Clarence. All this talk about flash seasoning foods, and I don't know how to do so. Could you explain this to me? Actually, I can. It's a slow process, but much faster than that of my competition. First, I'll start by talking about the package. I put the fish in the metal containers and fill it with brine. This is the stuff you put pickles in, and it preserves the fish. Next, I squeeze these containers between two metal plates. Each plate is filled to a temperature about negative 30, negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This process takes about 75 minutes, and it allows for only the smallest of ice crystals to form. Do you still have this company? I wouldn't think you'd have time to come here if you did. You're actually correct. I did sell this company and all my flash freezing patents to Goldman Sachs and post them for $22 million. What patents do you still have after this deal? Well, actually, I still have patents for the incandescent light bulb, a whale fishing harpoon, an infrared heating process, and a process for converting sugar cane into paper pulp. Well, thanks for joining us on the Happy Smiley Show tonight, Clarence. Thanks for having me. This has been the Happy Smiley Show. Thanks for watching. Good night, Massachusetts.